Hello class and welcome back. The topic of today's lesson is Jesus calls 12 apostles. Our objectives for today are to identify the meaning of the word apostle and explain why Jesus called them. Now, as far as you know, Jesus traveled a lot. Every day he met new people and preached for them. He targeted crowds, simple people. God talked through Jesus to those who wanted to grasp the word of God. There were so many people who needed his personal attention. But the religious leaders were no help. Very soon Christ became loved among people, but not by all of them. For example, the Jewish head priests did not approve what Jesus was doing. They criticized him a lot for healing sick people on the Sabbath day, the day when everyone was supposed just rest. But Jesus also knew that his time on earth was limited. Soon he would die on the cross as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But people everywhere really needed shepherds who could take of them. So he called his apostles so that they could spread around and preach. All right. So uh, what is the meaning of the word apostle? Now from Greek, apostles or apostolos means one who is sent off. So the mission of the apostles was to be sent off in order to preach everywhere they went. So how did Christ choose people for such a great mission? Now Jesus called those he wanted. The 12 he chose were not self-righteous. They were nothing like spiritual leaders. They were ordinary people with potential to be spiritual leaders for God's lost sheep. And they were not leaders. He wanted them to be trained as, as spiritual leaders. So Jesus called Simon first. Now Simon is the first on the list. Simon means sand. He was a very emotional and unstable person. Jesus gave him the name Peter, which means rock. Jesus had the hope of raising him to be the foundation of the Church of God. The brothers James and John appeared to be quiet, but inwardly they were fierce competitors. They were very ambitious. So they both had selfish ambitions, and Jesus chose them to use their abilities to learn and spread God's word instead. Andrew was a simple-minded person. He was a man of possibility. Being quite vulnerable, he still had a lot of courage. Philip was very good at math, but he learned that Jesus' math was different from his. Bartholomew was also known as Nathaniel. He was a man of honesty and spent much of his time under a fig tree, meditating on the word of God. Matthew was formerly known as Levi or, or Levi, the selfish tax collector. Thomas was a man of doubt. He was very hesitant to believe in anything unless there was an evidence for it. Thaddeus was also known um, as the good Judas. Simon the Zealot was a member of the resistance movement against the Roman Empire. And there was Judas Iscariot, who never gave up his desires for money and finally betrayed Jesus. So as far as you can see from the businessman's point of view, the 12 looked like a bunch of losers. They did not have impressive credentials. 
none of them had a higher education, uh, but from a spiritual point of view, they were good candidates for apostles because they responded to his calling and because they had learning minds. When Jesus called them, they came to him. They did not ignore his calling. 